One AI 8 internal stable firmware. Yes, this happened thanks to all the guys at uh, XDA. Now I'm running the BYFP version with a security patch level from the 1st of July. And this thing, guys, you can see this thing here doesn't start with a Z, which is usually either a beta or let's say an unofficial test firmware. But this thing is also not an official thing. It is still an internal firmware, though, yeah, starts with B and people call it internal stable firmware. Is this what the final One UI 8 is gonna be? for the S25 series, we still have to see because they also rolled out ZYFA and BYFA, the beta two in some countries, beta two in some countries, more internal test firmware. There is also another internal test firmware, but this is the internal stable one. So first things first, now they say that the device works as smooth as it can and believe it or not, they pulled off some new nice tricks. Open my morning brief, right? We can see that it's going to give you more contextual information. So it offers me to start my day with this playlist. You can now directly go back and click and open Spotify from here, which is something that was there before, but now it just works better. And it's presented in a different way. Again, just showing you some more information. Get recommended your videos in your now brief. So you can click on settings. You can see how many new things they have included, like the parking sport reminders, now also YouTube. So we have all these things that apparently are going to appear inside the now brief. So now when I open now brief, hopefully I'm gonna get also some YouTube recommendation. So start your day with this playlist. And again, every time I open it's a new playlist, check out these YouTube videos. And some other things they brought in guys is this thing here. It was there at some point, or at least some people on X were able to just extract this information that apparently it can read things aloud, but now it's inside. So let's see what it can do. Sunny morning, it's sunny outside. Enjoy a bright start to your day. It's currently 29 degrees Celsius in Sofia with a high of 31 and a low of 13 degrees. Really like the animations here. Spotify has a playlist recommendation for you. You see? Check out at late morning. There are some YouTube videos zoom that you in, might like out. in your now brief. Check out the videos posted by Andy Plays Games and Carl Ye Sky. Oh. <laughs> That's all we have for now. All right. Check back again later for more updates. That's cool, by the way, all right? And you can see, like every time it's reading a text, it's going to pop in and pop out, like zoom in and zoom out some of these main things like the weather, or let's say the Spotify or YouTube. What happens if I click here from the weather? Okay, I have two the weather apps, like the official one and the one that I side loaded. So let me just go and use the official one because the one that I side loaded was on my One UI 7 with the um, One UI 8 weather APK. This is probably one of the best weather apps, guys, at all. Like these animations are so good. It's just lovely, I really like it. And guys, now, I'm not sure if they really changed something on the system animations, uh, but as we're here, we probably can check this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get X here outside of the folder. I'm just gonna try to open it. I have a feeling that they slowed it down somehow compared to some of the previous internal test firmwares, but it might as well be just a placebo. As you can see, it's really battery smooth and you can really go now and open all your apps and close them. And I'm not gonna go into some excessive details because One UI now is finally very, very smooth to a level that we expected uh, even in One UI 6 and One UI 7. And I really hope that now they're going to make this thing not so different from uh, the Hyper OS and the Color OS and the Origin OS and you see how it goes. So there are some other things, guys. Uh, let me just go inside my settings. So I'm gonna go and search the tips what is new in One UI 8? Okay, don't miss a word during calls. This is the call caption. Put your best face forward. And I think this is cool because this thing was introduced, I think, at some point in one of them Pixel devices. All right, best face. So now, you know, you can do a photo, multiple photos. Uh, if you have a photo where our, your eyes are closed, you're gonna have now the best face option to just get a proper picture. And this is good. Also this thing here, guys, get recommended wallpaper uh, from your own images. And how does this work? Let me show you. This was hinted in some of the test firmwares. When you go to a paper and style and you click on change wallpapers, you're gonna get this thing here. And those are your own images. And One Year 8 will suggest you which of the images to use. So now when I'm inside, all right, let's go and choose this one, okay? This is an image from my cat. I'm gonna click next here. And you can see it will directly try to show you what do you have now? Bear in mind, I have here a Lockstar. 
All right, so what I can do for the sake of this video testing, I'm going to disable the lock star to just show you like the absolute stock lock screen uh, modification without the use of lock star because the lock star will present some additional functions. It's very easy, by the way. You can open your good lock manager and then what you can do, you can just disable all, let me disable all by the way. So I disable also the camera assistant and now hopefully when I get back to my lock screen, yeah, this is my standard lock screen. And you can see it already did a cutout of the cat. All right. Very nice, very good. So how do we change things uh, like this? Press the screen, uh, authenticate to the phone. And now from here, guys, you have some options. Okay, this is probably new. I don't remember seeing that before. All right, and, and by the way, see like, People will always blame Samsung for yeah, not being like the others, but I guess this is not bad because it seems that they have like their own unique style. So yeah, I understand there is no depth effect, but what you can do from here is, you see, the moment I try to play with the clock, it's going to align with uh, this thing here, which is uh, the ear of my cat. Let's try to go and put a fancy color. Okay, let's put this one here and I'm gonna press done. All right. And now hopefully we're gonna get this nice effect on my always on display and also on the lock screen. Okay, changes are applied. So this thing here now is my uh, lock screen. Let's just go to the always on, oh my God. Yeah, you see how nice by the way, oops. No depth effect, yeah, understand, no parallax wallpaper, you uh, know, just straight out of stock, um, unless you play with Wonderland, of course. But this thing is beautiful, it's gonna do a cutout and then it's gonna like drop the clock down a bit. So I think it's nice, guys. Some of the other new things in One UI 8 is the easy access to Galaxy Buds settings. So you can now control the Galaxy Buds directly from your phone settings without the need to open your Galaxy wearable app. And guys, let me just try this. And here we are, guys. Now I can see my Buds 3 Pro directly inside the settings and not from the Galaxy wearable. So the thing is, when you open this link, it's gonna be like if you've opened the Galaxy wearable. Let me show you. So this is the Galaxy wearable from where you can just choose, you know, your watch. Something that is probably weird or probably not because of this new setting. Now I'm not able to see my Buzz 3 Pro in the wearable, but okay, I mean, who cares? Now the easiest way for me to access it, just go inside the settings and here they are, you know, Buzz 3 Pro. From here, I have complete overview of my buds. I can change all the settings. I can update my software. And yes, the new clock style that we've seen that it's going to get dynamically themed and moved around. So I think this is gonna be One UI stable, guys. Hopefully it's gonna be there with us very very soon. Let me know what you think down below in the comments.